Let's take a look at um, three wide receivers who could be trade targets uh, in 2022 NFL spin zone. So um, this is for the Browns. Number three is Brandon Cooks. Number two is Calvin Ridley. And uh, number one, Amari Cooper of the Dallas Cowboys. And, uh, Jeff, we've talked before, and the thought being you may have to trade for a wide receiver because – um, signing a free agent, you're going to have to convince them that there's a, um, a chance of being elite here, I guess. Either that or make payday really, really yeah. friendly for them. Incentivize it, <laughs> yes, yes. Of, of those three, Ridley, uh, Cooks, yeah. Cooper, who do you like? I think they all three have drawbacks. The one I like the most is Calvin Ridley. He's young, he's really good. And he obviously had some issues that kept him out for the Falcons this year. And, and he says they were mental health issues. And you hope that he can get that straightened out and he can get on with his career because he's really talented. He's the guy that I would want. But I'd, I'd be real leery, Dave, about giving up a lot for him unless I was convinced that he was going to be able to come in here and be ready to play football. Brandon Cooks has played, and I'm not kidding, what, on six teams, yeah. I think? Yeah. Well, Saints, Patriots, Texans, Rams. keep going. There, there are a bunch of them. Yeah. And then um, I think Amari Cooper underachieves. I think he's really good. But I he's just not a consistently top-end producer. But I, I'd love to have him on the team. But if you ask me to pick one, I would pick Calvin Ridley. Well, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because you mentioned it. Again, it would involve a trade, and, and Ridley sat out. Uh, so the Falcons owner... Arthur Blanks was asked about Calvin Ridley, and they said their main concern is about uh, the, the guy that is uh, the person, the kid. Love him to stay in Atlanta. <clears throat> Whether or not he wants to do that, he may decide um, he needs a fresh start somewhere else. So um, kind of interesting that, um, you know, the owner of the Falcons is, you know, is thinking that way in terms of Calvin Ridley. First round pick would get it done, I would think. Yeah. And because of the fact that he didn't play last year and it's a bit of a gamble, Dave, maybe it's like a second and a fourth. Yeah. You know, something like that. Well, and you can be sure. I do it. You can be sure those are the, the – and, again, you got to make sure that he wants to come here, that he's, you know, committed to, to getting back on the field and getting back to where he wants to. But you can be sure right. those are the, the questions that Andrew Barry is asking.